BTS member Suga is in trouble with Korean law enforcement because he just received a DUI charge for driving an electric scooter while intoxicated. Suga's blood alcohol concentration was 0.227% at the time of arrest, which is well above the legal limit in South Korea of 0.08%. The Road Traffic Act stipulates a prison sentence of between 1 and 2 years or a fine ranging from 5 million won to 10 million won for drunk driving with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08 or above. Logistically, that's pretty much all we know right now about the case. Both Big Hit and Suga himself sent out an apology acknowledging the case. It's not up to me, but I would put a lot of faith that Suga won't have jail time and that he will just fork over the money. It's no secret that celebrities and rich people can get out of things easily with money, so I would suggest it would be no different in this case. So Suga could be back pretty soon to making music, but that's not to say he won't take a personal break from it though. It seems like it would be a good time for him to reflect on his actions. He did clearly also lie about only having one beer, since one beer is not going to get you even close to a 0.2 BAC, so that's a bit scummy of him potentially trying to cover it up more except i don't know why he even bothered to say that if they already breathalyzed him at point two maybe to downplay it to younger fans who don't know anything about alcohol but now that we have the facts of the situation covered i want to go over some opinions from people online over the whole situation and then give my own so here's what one person says apologize to yungi a 28 year old man who puts innocent lives at risk because he wanted to drink by the way Someone saying, girl, he's not going to hurt anyone with a damn scooter. Y'all are the only people on this earth who will shamelessly justify a DUI. I found this kind of funny. Mm, that age is wrong and there were no other lives since he was at his house. So, right, because him being 30 makes it better. <laughs> this person's not convinced that innocent lives are being put at stake. But like this person says, everyone around, you know, he could start taking off, going faster and crash into someone. So it could all change in a matter of seconds. On the flip side, this person points out that would be wild walking around free like nothing happened but a drunk person on an e-scooter who didn't harm anyone could get five Korea's insane man. So while this does bring up a point in the, the criminal justice system, it doesn't excuse the fact that Suga committed a crime. It's just more shifting the goalpost and fighting fire with fire saying that this crime is less bad than this crime. So this tweet is important, but it's kind of not relevant to what Suga did because Suga did commit a crime. Five years riding a scooter is bonkers. And to be honest, I would agree with that. I don't think that's justified, but okay. This I don't agree with though. He literally didn't harm anyone. He could have, it could have gone south very quick. And again, they're pointing out that DUI is less of a crime than sexual assault. Like this person says, just because one crime doesn't get its justice doesn't mean they're just going to start ignoring all crimes, otherwise our system will fall apart. So if we go to Reddit, here's someone who sums it up pretty well, I think. I feel like discussion around serious scandals with huge idols like this always gets derailed. I wish there could be a completely unbiased and emotionally mature discussion, but nope. On one hand, you get fans who defend these bad behaviors. Then on the other hand, you get people who spread purposeful misinformation and want to solely spread hate for the fun of it. I feel like there's not any nuance to this situation. He did a bad and irresponsible thing that could have ended badly for everyone around. Fans shouldn't get offended at people discussing it or defending it, downplaying it, whatever. And yeah, I'd, I'd say this is a very modest take, pretty accurate. Yeah, this person points out an underlying fact about electric scooters too many people are getting killed or fatal injuries and as well as they pointed out that the drinking culture in korea is very large and alcohol can range per drink we have them everywhere people are not dying on them uh they use scooters more than cars they need to work on their infrastructure for these new types of transportation on the road with pedestrians and other vehicles this person's just saying let's use this to spread positive awareness and that it's really not that big of a deal what sugar did nothing about if he shouldn't be punished or anything but just it's sugar so it's going to get outplayed that's inevitable it's a member of bts of course to be honest i think sugar was pretty stupid doing this but i think he is being sincere when he says he didn't know you can get a dui on an electric scooter 
Until recently, I actually didn't know that you could get a DUI on a bike in the US, and I assume it would be that way for an electric scooter here too, or any operable vehicle, but it does make sense in my eyes. If I was drunk, I would probably play it safe and not go near any vehicle I could operate, but everyone experiences being drunk differently, and there are some people I know who aren't completely plastered yet at a 0.2 BAC. Overall, is Suga dumb and should be punished? Yes. Should he also be forgiven? Yeah, I think so. Not everyone knows the law perfectly, and this seemed like a gray area for him on if it was legal. Not to mention, being drunk impairs your rational thinking and decision making. So he probably thought it was okay in the moment, but turned out not to be. Despite that, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have a good one, and take care.